There are some qualities human beings have that no animal has. The quest for beauty is not shared by anybody. The desire to love something more and more is not shared by anybody. Animals don't have that problem. Animals don't care to make their plate of food beautiful before they eat it. Animals don't reject food because it doesn't look good. We do that. We're like, yeah, squid? <laughs> we can't do that. And, and, you know, and animals will live in whatever shelter. We want a beautiful place to live. This quest for beauty is uniquely human. Even from an evolutionary point of view, it's uniquely human. Quest for beauty, quest for love. And this came from Allah Himself. This desire for love and beauty came from Allah Himself. Because Allah is ultimately what? Beautiful and the ultimate object of all love. Which is, in what word did I tell you? La ilaha illallah. And we were in His company. That's where we learned that love. And now when we came on this earth, and we came when we were raised by our mothers and our fathers, we fell in love with toys. We fell in love with our parents. We fell in love with chocolate. We eventually fell in love with other friends, games, video games, iPads. And we fell in love with the idea of a certain university. We fell in love with a girl or a guy, depending on the gender, by the way, relax. Okay, so. <laughs> We fell in love with the city that we want to move to. We fell in love with the idea of a job and the prestige that it will bring. We fell in love with them making our parents proud. We keep falling in love with these beautiful things. You know what though? Behind each of these loves, there was a source code. Just like behind the mountain, there's a source code. Behind the beauty that you love, there's supposed to be something behind it. And that's who? That's Allah Azza wa Jal. Like each of those loves leaves you unsatisfied. Each one of them. Each one of them. There was, at first, it's the greatest thing ever. And then you're like... What else is there? Like, you know, Iqbal used to say, I keep pursuing, where is, where is better? Where is better? Where is more refined? He keeps looking. He's never said, why? Because you won't stop until you meet who? ila rabbika muntaha The ultimate end, your, the only stop is going to be when you meet Allah. Now I'm satisfied. That's when you understand Ala bi dhikrillahi tatma'inna al By remembering Allah, when Allah comes into the heart, you're at rest. Until Allah comes into the heart, there's always going to be imperfect beauty that you keep running after. There are unfortunate people, and my teacher, the late Dr. Asar Ahmed, describing this ayah gave an analogy. I love this analogy. He said if somebody is desperate and starving and they have nothing to eat or drink, they will sip out of mud. To survive, they'll even sip out of mud. A puddle on the ground. Wouldn't they? To survive? If they, it came to their death? It's like when they couldn't find Allah, they ended up loving lesser things the way they should have been loving Allah. When they couldn't find Allah. The tragedy is people don't think. People didn't seek Allah. They just fell in love with the, 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 the product, not the source code behind that product. And so they love them as though Allah should be loved. يُحِبُّونَهُمْ كَحُبِّ اللَّهِ Ibn Ashur would argue about this ayah that kahubbillah actually means they love them like believers love Allah. In other words, other people love stuff the way Muslims love Allah. I wish that was the case. I, I wish that was true. Because the next part of the ayah tells you, وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا أَشَدُّ حُبَّ لِلَّهِ And those who truly have believed, they are more intense in their love for Allah. In other words, they are more intense in their love for Allah than anybody is in their love of anything else. Some kid who's obsessed with video games, their love for their games, their love for, for desire or temptation, doesn't even compare with a true believer's love for Allah. The burning intensity a believer has for Allah, unmatched. You know how you tell when a love is more powerful than any other love? What it makes you do. If a guy is really crazy about a girl, he'll jump a fence. He'll climb up to a window. He'll get arrested. <laughs> Happens, doesn't it? If somebody's really in love with something, they'll do whatever it takes to get it. Some kids are really in love or obsessed with the idea of getting into a college. They'll run away from home just to go there. Parents said, no, I'm going to go anyway. Love will make someone do crazy, crazy, crazy things. What is it that a believer is willing to do for Allah's love? For Allah's love, a believer is willing to sacrifice every other love. 